David, uh, a difficult match, difficult opponents. Um, what's your own take on the, the 90 minutes? Well, I did warn of a Linfield backlash um, following you know, their disappointment at, at uh, Carrick last week. Um, but I've got to say that, that they didn't have to work too hard for their victory, if truth be told. Uh, for 39 minutes, our game plan was working very well. I thought we more than matched Linfield. We contained them, I thought, very well and had a couple of skirmishes our, ourselves and I was quite happy going approaching half time. And then we took make two very basic, very simple errors and suddenly from having worked for so hard for guts of 40 minutes, you're rolling 2-0 down and uh, that's a real kick in the teeth. So it's, it's disappointing. There may be those who will say, well, OK, it was Linfield and you knew the status of Linfield and, and even, you know, wait you to learn and, uh, and that and say, well, they're full-time clubs and all of that. But you know my line in that, ultimately, we, we have got to, to, to seek to match the do our best. And the simple fact of the matter was that individual errors undone us and we were punished. Um, I suppose at the start of the season, looking to this point, you maybe hope to be a few more points and further up the table. Just a bit, a bit more development to go, just get the players playing. The, 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 the story is very simple, Ian. You know, we worked tremendously hard through the week uh, with regards to preparation for today. You know, not just on the training pitch, but off the training pitch in terms of information giving, video analysis and all of that. And But one thing that you can't legislate for our individual errors and uh, you're hoping when you do make those errors and you're not punished but we were clinically punished today you know three of the goals they were all preventable the penalty I thought was particularly harsh um, Scott's very clear that he, he tried to get his body in the way it did hit his hand but it was coming at such a pace it was at such close proximity um, but it's, it's, it's the nature of, of the three goals that we gave away and uh, that, that's got wrenching um, busy couple of weeks coming up, four games in two weeks. Um, got to lift the players and we see a few changes for Tuesday night. Well, we'll, we'll certainly have to make best use of the squad. Um, with that, there's, there's, there's no doubt. Um, it is, it will be a very challenging uh, fortnight. Um, but the fact is, we've, we've a game, quick turnaround, and it'll get us back out in the pitch. And hopefully, um, if we can get through without making mistakes, then we'll be fine. You know, but on each of the games that you know that, that we have conceded, it hasn't been that someone as team as, as outplayed us or cut through us. It's individual errors, and uh, that for that we've got to put our hand up, take responsibility, and try and make sure that we don't uh, repeat those mistakes. And uh, finally, uh, I have to say, just before the match, a very emotional uh, tribute to to Don Sterling, first home game, obviously since the funeral. Uh, big crowd, very well respected. Crowd were, were absolutely unbelievable. Both obviously Balamina United and, and the Olympic support. I thought, that, you know, the, the appreciation and respect uh, they gave such a wonderful, wonderful man um, was was outstanding and, and, and is to be commended.